create a simple skinner blend for the cat's front legs. Over a wire armature, I created the body shape for the kitty cat. On top of the body, I cut two pieces from the variegated clay and created the front arms. The same technique will be used for both the back feet and the cat's tail. Continue to shape and add texture. I created the head for the cat separately. Once I added the head, I laid out a sheet of polymer clay just to meld together the two pieces. I formed and pre-baked the ears before I added them to the head. Once again I used variegated clay and I added the tail to the base of the cat with a wire armature inside. Once I baked the cat, I took it out and let it cool and began to put on a black and white wash in layers where I wiped it off intermittently just so that the white and black would touch the fine lines and details. At this point, you could add the whiskers and finish the eyes and call it done. It certainly, as it is right now, very cute, but if you choose to add blocking powder, that's certainly an option too. Blocking powder is just small fibers cut from wool or alpaca into small bits. Add craft glue to your piece before you start to add the fur. Section off the cat as you go, and if you're using just one color like I am, it works just as good as if you were to decide to add layers of darker color as well. Just go layer by layer, step by step. Dust off the excess fluff once the piece is dried completely. Add details with chalk pastels. I spray my piece with a spray glue for craft sand or fake grass in a diorama. It just seals the pieces of the fur down and makes it much more solid and fine. Last but not least, add the whiskers and the eyes. Cats have domed eyes to help them see in the dark, so to create that, I'm using resin and a UV lamp to get the domed appearance. 